Hey, what is going on you guys? This morning, it's what? Day four or day five? Which day is it? Five. It's day five and we're doing pancakes. So it's pancake morning this morning. So the girls are just jumping in and getting theirs. I've got Crazy Austrian. You just smashing them out, Crazy Austrian? No. Uh, it's a little bit overcast today. So it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be out on the water or what we're going to be doing today. Obviously, we're going to play it by ear. Um, you know, we could probably go out on the water, but at the moment, like, look at that view. Out on the lake. Oh, look at the sky and everything. Looks pretty awesome, and the rain's starting to come down heavier now. What I was actually going to talk to you guys about was vlogging. Now, I get asked this question a lot. Um, they say to me, you know, do you find it hard to vlog? Do you get embarrassed when vlogging? The truth is, vlogging is difficult to do in public. It is very difficult, let alone like musicallys and stuff like that. I, I do have trouble with it. Uh, you do get looks, people look at you, they think um, you're weird or whatever, because not a lot of people know about YouTube like yeah there is a lot of people that do know about youtube but there's a lot of people that don't know about youtube so when you're walking around with a camera in front of you like this like i know i'm talking to you guys so i don't really care but when you've got a camera in front of your face people walking down the street they look at you weird they say stuff but you know that's a part and parcel of doing this doing youtube so i do it for you guys and i just thought i would clear that up so I finally came first at the letterbox. Every day we walk down here to this letterbox. It's about half an hour round trip and I fooled everyone else and I managed to run down here and get it first. Thank God, victory! Beat you. Beat you. Beat you. And beat you. Beat the dogs. Beat you. <laughs> Beat the border collie. <laughs> yeah. Every time in our walk, we come to this tree, and it's got like these weird spider, like spider nests on them. There's one here that's fallen down. It's like got all this spider sort of casing and eggs and stuff in it. It's really weird. If anyone knows what it is, shoot it in the comment section because it's one strange looking spider's nest. Probably some weird Australian spider that will kill you. <laughs> But uh, I hope you can hear me, because it's windy. It's always windy here, isn't it? Yeah. So I find it really cool, like going on these walks and stuff, and actually getting out in the in the sort of farmland and the and the rural aspect of it. Yeah, it is pretty like windy and everything here. So I'm hoping that like the footage comes out great. But like even seeing stuff like that, like with the with the farms and everything along those lines like you got the farm sheds and then on the other side you've got the lake so i enjoy going on the walks and and bringing you guys along with me now if i see something interesting then i film it but it is really hard because this wind is howling so much like i don't even know how much of this footage i'm actually going to be able to use because with it howling you guys can't hear anything so i'll give it a shot anyway and uh yeah i just thought i'd show you like a little bit of Australia, like people think this is how Australia is, you know, just this red dirt. But in actual fact, that's actually what we've got. It's like that. So, people think we've just got nothing, where in actual fact we've got grass and, and then you go into the city and it's just like anywhere you go, you know, so. But you've taken some photos, so like in a vlog, if there's a photo or something that pops up, it may be something that I've taken and decided to add into the video but you're coming through here which you've got to look out for look out for snakes and things along those lines something's been digging there but then you've got stuff like this all the hay bales like it's awesome awesome place to sort of take photography and, and do photos like I love photography I love doing that sort of stuff and, and YouTube, I love doing the videos and the video editing. It's something that I'm really passionate about. So when I get to go out and do stuff like this and take photos like that, you know, 
it's a lot of fun. I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I could spend like half a day or a whole day just going out with cameras and taking photos for hours. I, I really love it. Obviously, you've always got to look out for snakes. So if I'm looking at the ground, that's what I'm actually looking for. Because if you hear me scream and I drop on the ground, then I've been bitten by a snake. That's what's happened. We've decided to travel into town because the weather's taken a little bit of a uh, turn for the worse. So it's not as bad as what it was last year. God. Best of snake the kangaroo lake we had a real bad day like as in it was I think I tagged it as like the worst day ever or something because it was really windy we had we had a lot of tents that almost got blown over and all sorts of stuff we thought we'll travel into town so we're gonna head into Swan Hill and have a look around there maybe do a little bit of shopping or something so you know whatever happens happens and uh, what about you? How you been? You been enjoying your trip? Yeah, I've been having a really good time. Um, today's a good day for me because I like the wind and the cold weather more than the sun. So, yeah. It's quite nice out here. I think that's Kangaroo Lake out over there. And I don't think you can see it, but it is like white caps over there. But this is pretty much out in the outback. And we're not even out of Victoria. So it goes to show on how big Australia actually is. So we've just pulled up in uh in Swan Hill and one thing I will state about Swan Hill is never buy any camera stuff in Swan Hill so don't buy any batteries or SD cards or anything because they are like 10 times the price way more expensive than what it is to get it back in Melbourne like a 32 gigabyte SD card standard they want 150 bucks for here but back in Melbourne you can pick it up for like 30 40 bucks so massive but um, I think we're going to have some lunch or something here and, uh, <laughs> and go from the there. Yeah, well, we are actually, we are actually on where we're parked at the moment. We're on the street just around the corner from the hospital. And you all know why I went to the hospital last time. It's a sheer accident and uh, it will never happen again. That I can assure you because I don't think I'll live through another one. What do you reckon the plans are for chilling in Swan Hill. Yeah. Well, Jade was uh, had her eyes on the noodle place. Yeah. You know, for lunch. So she, I think we might do noodles. Mm. I think uh, my brother might go to McDonald's. That's, uh, that's where he's going to go, straight to the Golden Arches. And I don't know what I'm going to do for lunch, so I'll just walk around, have a look. I look like a full-on tourist, because I've got a backpack on, but I've got a lot of expensive stuff in the backpack. Didn't want to leave that at camp, so that's why I've got that on. Went and got some KFC, and the line was massive. I got two burgers and uh, some chips. And we had a guy in there, he walked in, was last in queue, obviously must have loved KFC and didn't want to wait in lines or something, and it escalated so quick. He's gone from yelling at him to punching bins and then trying to punch the window, so it escalated very quickly. What do you think? He was hilarious. He was a feral old man, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, old man! He yeah, he old, was an old man. Not he looked like a bottle of burial. It was quite funny. It's just started raining, so I don't know if we're going to head back to camp or what we're going to do. I know the girls want to do some shopping and stuff, so I think we might look around. Decide what we're going to do for dinner, and then I think we might head back to camp, maybe go for a fish. I'm actually keen to go fishing, so I'll keep you posted. And uh, this is a prime example. So the people to my right, so probably your left, looked at me weird. I get it all the time, so it's just something you have to deal with with vlogging, guys. It's part and parcel of it. Especially, like, I walk past this cafe and half, if not all, the people look at me. So, it's part and parcel of it. So we're um, looking at camping stuff at the moment. I'm picking up a new ski rope, but you have a look over here and you've got the wakeboards. The wakeboards. Yeah. 
Like boards like that. You got the knee boards, the trick board, so it's pretty much like my Joker board, but with fins, I'm pretty sure, so they might be intermediate. And then you've got like the beginner's board with the hooks. You got the skis. But this is awesome, like the this stuff is awesome. Like that. And you've also got like the three-seater, like the jet pilot sort of thing. That's pretty cool as well. So it's pretty mean. Looking around at all this stuff. So you got the like jet pilot, like three, three seater sort of thing. We've got one of those, but it's broken at the moment, so have to get it repaired. But that's what we're doing at the moment, and then I think we're heading back. And I want to rearrange our friendship, yes, I'm sure. I don't need that kind of stuff. Leave my car and shut the door. got to go out for a fish guys so I'm just rigging up my lines now and we're about to cast out we'll give this spot a uh, quick go it's around Lake Charm so we'll give it a shot and see if we can catch anything I've been out here over out over here on the boat and uh, it seems to be pretty good I've got my little rod holders here so I'll give it a shot and see if we can actually catch something uh, I don't really care if it's carp or what it is but uh just so we hook onto a fish. It's awesome out um, fishing, but the problem is it's just so windy. You know, like it with the wind and there's nothing really to stop it, it just howls along. And with these cameras, you know, they just they just can't handle the wind. But I've just come up to get some snacks from the car. But this is the view that we have at the moment. I don't know if you can see my rods down there. But the rods are just down there, and this is the view we've got. And then then just like out back sun's starting to set and it just looks awesome so oh, I just love it out here to get away from the city and everything for a week is just great um, to live out here I don't know if I could do it if I could live out here all the time um, I just like the city and and just how easily accessible things are in the city opposed to being out here but it's nice for a holiday I'm just going for a walk up to the shack up here there's a little shack I don't know where I'm actually going to walk through because this, I don't know about you, but that just pretty much screams snake territory. Uh, especially up around there. You know, this just screams sort of snake territory. And that just screams even more snake territory. All this just screams like snake come and get me, you know. Because that's all like rabbit burrows. And snakes tend to hang around rabbit burrows. Easy food for them. For a walk over to this shack, this is probably the audio is probably stuffed in this video because the wind. I know I keep saying it almost every video, but it's just the wind here, and these cameras just don't do well in the wind. Like the slightest breeze can stuff up the audio on this camera. Sounds like gale force winds when it's actually not. There's like a rustic sort of water silo that makes for an awesome shot right there. Um, Walk over here, you got like, it's like old pump lines and stuff. Like you got a shack there. So let's do a bit of investigating, eh? I'm looking down because I know it's rude, but the, this is like snake territory, like real bad. Pretty much you wait for one to jump out of the... Like even down in there, that's like... There could be snake territory in there. There's really nothing in the shacks. It's, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's pretty dark. You wouldn't really want to come here at night because that's like typical horror movie sort of shit, you know? We finished up with fishing, guys. Unfortunately, we didn't catch any fish, but uh, oh well you win some you lose some so we'll head back and i'm pretty sure we're gonna have jaffles are, are they jaffers or jaffles 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 for dinner so Not that everyone. should that should be pretty nice i'd say uh crazy austrian said not everyone who's no. not having it well there isn't a lot for everyone to have any <laughs> so it'll be ham cheese tomatoes toast that kind of stuff 
So we'll rustle up what we can rustle up for dinner. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. It is super cold, like it is freezing tonight. So I just can't wait to hop in my sleeping bag and just warm up and transfer some of the footage and watch a movie or something and then I'll go to sleep because you know I'm tired and everything. As always guys, if you like the video, give it a huge thumbs up, go ham on it. And until next time guys, poops.